The refurbished building will be the temporary home of the music, visual and theatrical arts, as well as other vocations such as sewing at the Sufre Comprehensive. The structure was rehabilitated at a cost of some 200,000 EC dollars by Hippolyte's construction, funded through the help of the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, the SSDF, and other stakeholders within the Sufre community. Principal of the Sufre Comprehensive Secondary School, Crescentia Combi, expressed the school's gratitude to government for delivering the wing as promised. She said the initiative, which came about through much lobbying, will be extremely beneficial to the technical and vocational curriculum and activities of the institution. The arts and the skills have come together. They marry emotion with ability. And we take pride at SCSS in fulfilling our mission of ensuring the full development of each child through the collaborative effort of all stakeholders. Speaking at the briefing ceremony, Parliamentary Representative for Soufre Francais Jacques, Honorable Emma Hippolyte, said the Soufre Comprehensive has the noble task of shaping the minds and future of its students to be productive citizens. The refurbished block, she said, will enhance the school's ability to provide vocational training and exposure to the arts. The MP, who is also the Minister for Commerce, was instrumental in seeking support from government for the rehabilitation of the old annex. The transition as productive citizens rely not only on the parents, but on you to thoroughly equip them with the technical, vocational, spiritual, and scholastic tools to meet society head on. The extension of your institution is a start of many more interventions to enable you to meet this strategic and colossal task at hand. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward said the rehabilitation of the wing is just a small part of the wider plans by government in its overall thrust to rehabilitate school plant on the island. However, the minister said the program that is essential to achieve this goal will require construction work during the school year and not just the periods when school is out. So in the next few, few weeks and months, you will see students being asked to coexist with contractors, with carpenters and construction workers. Um, this is the only way we can do it. We have three windows of free breaks in the school year. You break for Christmas for roughly two weeks. At Easter time, you break for another two weeks. And during what we call the summer break, you have a period of about seven weeks. Those windows do not give you sufficient time to execute the programs that you want. Minister Edward said the rehabilitation work is coming at a cost of some $25 million to government, but said the work is necessary to ensure the comfort of both students and staff alike. Whilst in the picturesque town of Sufre, the Education Minister and Sufre MP were joined by other ministry officials in a visit to the Lizzie Tang Combined School and also presented some 10 Chromebooks to the Buta Combine. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.